Hello guys, today I'll teach you how to make a pop the balloon game in Scratch. So let's start. To click on Scratch, not Scratch Junior. Now you click on Create. Turn here, right? Then this cat, you know what to do. Delete this and take a new sprite. The sprite this time you have to take this balloon. Pop the balloon. That's why. And you can choose any background. One. And then let's start the code for this. This events. Go in events and drag out when flag is clicked. This is called flag click uh, block. Okay. And then you have to put yeah, you have to put hide and go to the variables. This is a new thing. So, you have to click on make a variable. This button, click it and then this screen will appear. You have to write, uh, you can write direct score, but I'll write popping score of Shritik. My name is Shritik, that's why. Okay, like this done now you uh, then you have to drag this one set my variable to zero and then change this what you named it if you named it score then choose score because i named it this then i'll choose this forever in the control you know like this and there you have to put go to random position Means it will go from this balloon will go here, 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 here. And after that, yeah, you have to drag. Wait one second. And then uh, go to. Yeah, looks. And then go scroll down. You see this change color effect by 25. Take this and drag it here. Then let's see what happens. I, I mistakenly said hide. So you don't have to drag hide. Instead drag this show. Okay. And then put it back. Then it will work. Look. Okay. It will go like this. Okay. And then. Uh, when this sprite is. When the sprite clicked. This one. The third is instruction from events. Where you choose the. When the green flag is clicked. From here. And there, then you have to uh, go to sound and play sound pop until done. And then again go to the variables and then do change my variable by one. And then write, uh, then do what you named it. Okay. Like this. You, you did like this now. And then you have to go to the stage. Can you see over here stage? Click that one. And then I, I told that you have to make a variable timer. Right? Then press OK. Then you will see two variables. And then do my variable to I mean not set yeah this one only but choose timer and then uh, 10 10 ok like this only this much and then if you wrote 10 then go to control and then do repeat 10 
times because this will repeat for 10 times then you have to go in variables again and then do change my variable by 1 then do timer and but you don't have to do by 1 otherwise it will go up 10, 11, 12. You have to do minus 1. Then it will go. It will go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. And then you read this much. Then you have to go to control. And take wait one second. And then you have to go to events. It is broadcast message 1 and wait there are two you don't have to choose broadcast message 1 and wait choose only broadcast message 1 this one N uh, not this one keep it back here this one this one read it carefully broadcast message 1 okay and then you drag it over here and new message click in this small arrow and do new message the message name you can keep time time is up or game over okay okay i'll keep game over game okay and then go back to the balloon code oh, click on the balloon sprite and then go here and then do this one when i receive game over the the sixth one here before broadcast and then do uh, after the after you do when i receive game over you have to do hide from the show, take hide. I mean from looks. And then, then you have to take, you have to go to control and take uh, stop all, this one. It's, it's over here. Okay, you have to scroll down and check. Stop all. But then you change it to other scripts in Sprite. This much is for the balloon code. And then you uh, don't click over here. You have to don't click, go up and pay, click on the paint. Over here, this their paint sign and then uh, there will be a space this will open automatically and then do uh, any color you want like I want this and then I'll choose the square option rectangle then I'll do then I'll do like this Then you have to scroll, then you have to fill it by scrolling down and pulling it like this. You touch the ground. Then you choose this T sign. This T sign. And then choose another color. This this T sign means text. If you'll write in the same color, you'll it will not be able to it will not be a visible look. That's why choose another color. I'll choose red. I mean, a little bit dark. In the middle. And then increase the size. Oh, it's too up. And then go. Then click inside. And then go back to the code. And then do the code of this. Do you know why it's showing empty? Because I'm in the code of 
the game war sprite. We call these uh, things a sprite. This is called a game war sprite. And then uh, do then go to the events and then drag out when flag is clicked then go to the looks and click show hide and then go to events again and drag out when i receive game over and then show i mean then click drag out show and put it uh, over here like this now look oh yeah i forgot to put the sound Wait. sound oh look it happened now you can uh, give it a name you can give it a name pop the balloon thank you